Hi, and welcome to another Motion Industries how-to video. My name is Tom Clark, I'm your host, and today we're gonna to be talking about thread lockers. And joining me on this set today is gonna to be Hadley Cohn, he's from Henkel Corporation. Hadley, welcome in. Thanks, Tom, appreciate you having us. Thanks so much for coming by. Now, he's gonna be talking about Loctite thread lockers and why they are so important in harsh industrial environments. And um, once again, welcome to the program. But you know, Hadley, I know mechanics, maintenance professionals, uh, they've been using Loctite thread lockers on their mechanical assemblies for decades. And um, you know, why are they so important though? Uh, there's so many different fa faster manufacturers mm -hmm. trying to find one that'll actually keep a nut from vibrating loose from a bolt under heavy vibration, side sliding, thermal expansion, contraction. So that's probably the number one reason, vibration, right? Yeah, vibration, that's what you think of. In fact, that's the number one reason for catastrophic failure in the industrial environment. Uh, you know, the, the plants that we're in, the number one cause of downtime is fasteners wanting to vibrate loose. And why is that? Is this because they just don't tighten them or, or what? Well, the fastener industry has created thousands of different types of devices. No consistency there. There's just so many different ones. Basically, they just don't work, do they? Right. They need, they need to use Loctite. <laughs> I know, because I got a lawnmower. I'll be pushing. Bam! There goes the wheel. It's off to the side. Squirrels are running for their lives. Out of control. And so, yeah, so I probably yeah. need something like this. Yeah. So how long has Loctite been around? It's been around since 1953. Okay. So, All right. quite and a while. So what have we got here? What, what are we going to see? Well, our bench, we've got uh, obviously some product, mm -hmm. some nuts and bolts. Uh, right. What we've got in the vise right now is a fastener that has no Loctite on it at all. Okay. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to torque this down, and, and when we get there to 40, you'll hear a pop or a click. Okay. That lets you know you're, you're there. Okay. Now that was not my back. That was actually the nut. <laughs> or mine. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. So, okay, yeah, we did hear the pop. Right. So what we've got now, this, this bolt has been torqued down to 40 foot-pounds. Okay. Uh, now we're going to loosen it All right. to show you that without the Loctite, listening was pretty easy compared to tightening. Oh, yeah, you can just take that right off. Take it right off. Okay. Well, yeah. that's not good. Let's see what the Loctite nut okay. and bolt do. Uh, what we've got here is a nut and a bolt that we put together yesterday. Uh, with our blue medium strength 243. Okay, now why, why yesterday? It takes well, a little time to cure? Exactly. Okay. 24 hours to cure. Okay, that's yeah. probably an important uh, factor, so make sure 24 hour cure time. 24 hours to cure. All right. We're all cured up. All right. Uh, again, we torqued it down yesterday to 40 foot pounds. All right. And you can see we'll break this one loose. You can see quite a bit more. Yeah, a little bit Muscle a little bit goes into it. Oh, and you can't take and that off either. Exactly. Yeah, you can't. You're gonna that. need. You're gonna need that torque wrench, the whole way. So you can tell there probably wouldn't be any vibration if it were just to loosen a little bit. Exactly. Okay. Yep. You'll have consistent tension on there throughout the Loctite product. Okay. Now something that I noticed when um, I took that off there, and this is this is the nut and bolt here, is I felt a little wiggle room in there. Right. You know what what, what goes on in there because. Obviously, that's not coming off. There's nothing in there. You can feel it better. That's a three-quarter uh, fastener there, a three-quarter inch. And okay. you can kind of feel that shimmy in there, yeah. almost a little shake to yeah. it. Well, what that is is there is a large gap or airspace within those threads. Tell me, I mean, what do you think the true metal-to-metal, -metal the percent of, of metal-to-metal metal? Metal, yeah, within that fastener is? Oh, it's got to be 80%. I'll say 80. Okay. We get that a lot. We do a lot of uh, maintenance education seminars throughout the year. Always ask the guys, right. and they're always somewhere between 60 to 80 to start off with. It's only 15 to 20 percent true metal to metal contact. Ouch. Really? 15? That's it. Okay. Yep. So that's where the thread locker comes in to seal or fill those voids in there. Makes it solid, no vibrating. Locks it together, okay. unitizes it as, as one, and seals it to protect against corrosion, rust, things like that, which could lead to failure as well. So the purpose overall makes everything tight, no vibration, which is the number one reason for failure, right. protects it, contaminants. So um, you should be using Loctite in all your nuts Loctite and bolts. Loctite blue on uh, 243 on what you want to get back You got apart. some red here too. We've got the red, the okay. 263. Uh, the red is our high strength. Okay. Permanent. Is that why you have the torch over there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. If you wanted to get one of these loose, mm -hmm. the old torque wrench isn't going to do it. Okay. You're going to need about 500 degrees localized heat to break that down within. So inside. you didn't bring s'mores with you? No, no s'mores. Fine, well then you're uh, done. 
That's Squirrels, it. No, s'mores. No, I'm sorry. We'll we were, take care of lock ties. We you bring yeah. a torch and no s'mores, you're out of here. Gotcha. No, but Hadley, thank you so much. Okay. That is great information. Loctite thread lockers, we appreciate you appreciate stopping you by. Appreciate you having us. So if I you have any more questions about that, time. see, he's going to bring s'mores. Everybody should bring s'mores to Tom and the Motion Industries how-to video. Uh, but Loctite thread lockers, uh, that's really what you need for everything. And if you have any questions, any information, don't forget to contact your nearest Motion Industries branch location. Also, wear your PPE. We had our glasses on today. Today. Wear yours if you're not wearing your glasses, and hopefully this will help with your practical application. Uh, once again, Hadley, thank you from Henkel Corporation. And don't forget to look for more how-to videos like this from Motion Industries and me, your host, Tom Clark. Thanks so much. Appreciate you watching.